Proverbs 6, New American Standard Bible, February 6, 2023. My son, if you become surety for your neighbor, have given a pledge for a stranger, if you've been snared with the words of your mouth, or have been caught in the words of your mouth, do this then, my son, and deliver yourself. Since you have come into the hand of your neighbor, go, humble yourself, and importune your neighbor. Give no sleep to your eyes, nor slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hunter's hand, and like a bird from the hand of the fowlers. Go to the ant, O sluggard, observe her ways, and be wise, which, having no chief, officer, or ruler, prepares her food in the summer, and gathers her provision in the harvest. How long will you lie down, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Your poverty will come on you like a vagabond, and you, your need like an armed man. A worthless person, a wicked man, is one who walks with a perverse mouth, who winks with his eyes, who signals with his feet, who points with his fingers, who with perversity in his heart continually devises evil, who spreads strife. Therefore his calamity will come suddenly, instantly he will be broken, and there will be no healing. There are six things which the Lord hates, yes, seven which are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that run rapidly to evil, a false witness who utters lies, and one who spreads strife among brothers. My son, observe the commandments of your father, and do not forsake the teaching of your mother. Bind them continually on your heart. Tie them around your neck. When you walk about, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. And when you awake, they will talk to you. For the commandment is a lamp, and the teaching is a light, and reproofs for discipline are the way of life. To keep you from the evil woman, from the smooth tongue of the adulteress, do not desire her beauty in, her, in your heart, nor let her capture you with her eyelids. For on account of a harlot, one is reduced to a loaf of bread, and an adulteress hunts for precious life. Can a man take fire in his bosom, and his clothes not be burned? Or can a man walk on hot coals, and his feet not be scorched? So is the one who goes into his neighbor's wife. Whoever touches her will not go unpunished. Men do not despise a thief if he tries to steal to satisfy himself when he is hungry. But when he is found, he must repay sevenfold. He must give all the substance of his house. The one who commits adultery with a woman is lacking sense. He would destroy himself. <clears throat> he, sorry, he who would destroy himself does it. Wounds and disgrace he will find, and his reproach will not be blotted out. For jealousy enrages a man, and he will not spare in the day of vengeance. He will not accept any ransom, nor will he be satisfied, though you give many gifts. Sorry about that one. Man, it's like degrees of wrongness, right? Like, we're supposed to be keeping ourselves, but at the same time, if if we make the mistake and we go one step further with somebody that's already married, it's, we give a big warning, like, look, this person's not going to be satiated. You're not just going to say, I'm sorry. You're not just going to walk away from it. You know, this guy, you're going to pay for it. He's going to make sure of it one way or another because you're going to have disgraced him. And, um, the start, man, like, I don't know, something about the Grammys last night and hearing this, you know, wicked people doing wicked things, trying to do more wicked things. Um, interestingly enough, though, we're, we got a repeat in Proverbs 6 of the daily verse in Proverbs 3 about writing the words on your heart and hanging them on your neck, you know, keeping instruction. And this one in particular says, like, it'll keep you when you go to bed at night, but you'll think about it when you get up in the morning. So during the day, you know, meditate on the things that you were taught and that you put into yourself. So go put good stuff into yourself. You know, I'm trying to do this because I think um, I'm going to glean some wisdom by reading these translations, but moreover by doing this discipline every day. So I would encourage you to do something similar. I'd like to hear about it if you're going to. And if the if it's simply just 
showing up here to listen to me read and maybe share my thoughts, then hey, at least you're seeking wisdom and that's what we're instructed to do. Have a great day. Sorry it's so late everybody. Had a late day. Kind of used to filming in the car at this point, but I am definitely trying to make a space in the house just to uh, kind of make my studio so we can do this more often. So have a great day. I realize now you got 30 minutes left in the day. So if you're seeing this on the 7th, have a great day.